Okay, I'm starting to feel sick. And there's the label. I'm losing my mind, slowly but surely. Hello, how are we all today? Let me just bring you down a bit. There we go. I really need to shave this beard off. My little badger stripes are coming back, my little grey stripes. So what have I been up to? I have just finished cleaning this. I should have done a before and after. I, I, didn't, I didn't get prepared enough to show you the state of this before so I could compare, give you the comparison. So this is a vintage prestige aluminium pressure cooker. It's actually the exact same one my parents had from the 70s or maybe even 60s, I don't know. And I think my parents still have this and still use it. Um, it has the weight uh, which are often missing. It also has, I just finished cleaning the uh, little rubber kind of gasket that seals the lid. Uh, it's come up really nicely. As you can see, it's not as nice inside. I have tried my hardest, but it still has some staining in there. Um, so we picked this up on a like a jumble trail thing. This was sat underneath a stall and we were just leaving and it caught my eye and I thought, oh, that's a quality make, that's vintage. I'm just gonna ask how much and they said 20 pence. So I figured, I don't know how much this, how much aluminium is in this, but at 20p, yeah, I'm going for it. Um, and they actually do quite well. I've been doing a little bit of research. The most I've seen this exact one sell for is 40 pounds, um, but they go anywhere sort of 20, 30, 40, depending on condition, whether it has the weight, whether it has the inserts. Now this has these two, original aluminium again, inserts. So I think I'm going to aim, I might put it on at 40 with offers. Uh, condition on the outside is great, but it does have that staining that won't seem to come off. Um, and yes, I'm aware I could do lots of things to this, the whole bicarb thing and soaking it and blah, 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 but I just want to get it listed. So that's what I've been doing just now. I've done orders for today, they've been shipped wasn't masses going out. I have one more just fitting in that seal um, that seats in there and then provides the rubber seal between the lid and the main body. So yes I'm going to get this if I can ever put it back together. Oh whatever. I'm gonna get that listed. Now, I do have one more thing to package and oh, what I also did, I, I popped out earlier and on my travels found that heap of cardboard in my usual cardboard honey hole and uh, so I need to sort all of that, get that stowed away. But I have also sold this, now I listed um, the juicers and smoothie makers that were sat on top of the racking. This was the last one to go. This wasn't wasn't a great brand. It's Bosco, um, and I, I in the end I sold it for twenty. Um, I thought I'd done it free shipping. When the order came through, it had two ninety nine shipping on it, which will not cover this going by courier. Um, I was going to do £20 free shipping to include the courier cost, which is a fair chunk of that. Um, but it had two ninety nine on it, so you know I gained a little bit of the shipping back. Anyway, so I need to find a huge box. Hopefully I've got one in that stack of cardboard I picked up today. And drop that off. That's going to go with Hermes. Um, and will probably cost about six or seven pounds, probably seven pounds to ship that one. The other thing I want to get done today, you may see it lurking in the background, you may remember recently we shared a neighbour of ours is moving out, they put loads of stuff outside of their house and said please take it away, we don't want to take it with us. Um, it included this doll's house. I wasn't sure if I was going to keep it and give it to um, family members um, for their kids. I don't think so now. I think I'm just going to get it listed and get it gone 
uh, it's got loads of accessories and it should do quite well so while we've got this really nice bright daylight I'm going to set that up down there get some pictures done and get that one listed right so that's going to be the setup of this uh, need to get the pictures quick because my light is starting to fail but as you can see it's got a real selection of furniture, beds, cupboards, ironing board and iron, loads of tiny little bits and bobs, little toy train, buckets, three people, little kitchen set up there. So yeah, snap a bunch of pictures of this. Let's line those doors up right there. There we go. And that I don't think will take long to sell. I just realized that the background showed my messy office. So I've used some of this cardboard I've just picked up um, to create a bit of a barrier. So when this is cropped, you're not gonna see my office now. You're hopefully just gonna see that cardboard. I'm going to put a shipping option on it so I have elected to take it apart so I can store it easier and then when it comes to shipping it um, it will be a lot lot less volume so I'm going to add a picture to the listing showing it kind of flat packed I'm also going to add into the listing um, this allen key I've got a few of those in my toolkit um, so I'm going to supply that for the bolts so the new owner won't have any trouble assembling it. It's super simple. I don't think anyone can go too far wrong with it. So there we go, job done. Okay, so now for the pressure cooker. Um, hold on, I've only got one light on. That's better. Okay, so yeah. Pretty simple really, I'm going to have that as a lead image, I will then do pictures all around, I will show the staining on the inside, I'll show the inside of the lid, um, I've got these bits so I'm going to lay those out, take pictures of those, do a close up of the weight, just as much as possible really, show every angle, show whatever staining or damage there might be, yeah. All right, let's get on with it. Okay, now to ship this thing. I really struggle to find a box big enough. This is quite awkward because it's fairly wide, but it's also really quite tall. Um, I did experiment with taking the lid off and maybe packing that separately, but it was still a really awkward size and shape. But luckily I did pick up a decent box today and it's this one and I'm pretty sure Oh, that's perfect. I don't think that could be much better, really. It's got enough space around it. I'm going to pad this with more. I've got loads of spare cardboard. I mean, I picked up tons of it today. It's just everywhere. So um, I'm going to fill most of that void with cardboard and then um, this paper void fill. And that can be on its way. I love getting rid of the bulky stuff. It's been so satisfying clearing these shelves of the bulky stuff. There's still plenty to go and I nearly forced myself to start on these projectors today um, but ended up opting to uh, go for the doll's house and the um, pressure cooker first but I might get those down 
when all this is done and just do an initial look. Uh, see which ones power on, see which ones have issues and start the process because I don't know how many I've got. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I can see six 8mm pro projectors from here and some I've had for an embarrassing amount of time. I think three or four years is, is the most I've had one of these, but yeah, need to get onto that. Okay, so the initial kind of void fill of cardboard is pretty much done. I'm just gonna roll another bit up here and fill that void a bit like this. Um, and then I'm gonna fill what's left of the space with the paper and that will be good to go. Right, so we are there. So that's the box completely padded. I'm gonna cap it there with that seal it up and drop it off. Okay, so that comes in at 7.1, well I can show you. Seven, it did. <laughs> Oh, why is it showing something different now? Oh, it's because I'm I'm catching the box as I pull it up. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, oh, catastrophe. My phone is plugged into the charger and now all of my leaves have gone on the floor. Oh. Right, so 7.1 kilos. Okay. So, that scale is really handy actually. That's what I use to weigh. Oh, you're wonky now, look. I use those uh, scales, I think they have a 50 kilo, like max on it, and they're really handy for FBA boxes. Um, and obviously stuff like this, that I can't weigh on a normal scale, like my Royal Mail scale. Um, yeah. Links for everything that we use in our business. We put in the description box below. Um, we often get asked what label printer we use, what laser printer, the scales, etc. Everything should be linked below in the description box. Um, so please check those out if you're interested. So um, using that weight, I will now um, get the courier label and print it off, stick it on and drop it off. Such fun. Um, I thought I'd quickly mention, when I'm making these videos, normally I have music on in the office. I listen to music all day long. I either have it playing on YouTube or I'm playing CDs from my collection. And you may be aware I am in the process of building up um, a Depeche Mode collection again, getting the stuff that over the years I've got rid of, etc. And oh my God, have I found a mix that I love. I have now all of the... These are really hard to get hold of. In your room, there's three CD singles. Um, I have the whole set now. But there's a mix on the this version. This is the limited version of the single. Uh, mix on here is just epic. I can't play you much because of copyright problems, but just check this out. I don't know how much of that I had to cut out. I, I had I can't leave much of it in because uh, you get in trouble on YouTube. But um, yeah, I just thought I'd put it in because I have to. Um, I think oh I'll I'll film the next bit and then I have to stop the music and and film and then put the music back on and then I think oh I just need to say this and then I have to stop the music and carry on. It's a right faff. Okay, so that's all booked. Uh, super quick and easy. Um, I know a lot of people moan about Hermes, uh, I have done in the past, but yeah, it's it's simple, it works most of the time. Um, so yeah, and it was £6.99 uh, for that parcel. Uh, what did I say? It was 7 kilos, just over 7 kilos. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to print off the label. I choose to use my 6x4 label printer, which I use for all of my Royal Mail and pretty much, yeah, all of the couriers I use, uh, I can print 
their labels six by four. Um, so yeah, job done. So I'll print that. Um, I will then print off a receipt as well for tax records and file that away. Uh, and then we'll go drop it off. So here's the zebra and there's the label. Job done. Invoice is the same, but obviously I will select my laser printer, um, which is this Samsung. It's only a black and white laser printer, but for what I need in the office, that's more than adequate. And come on, come on. You can do it. Whee! Job done. It took me ages to actually bite the bullet and switch to a laser printer. We've had that one a couple of years now. Um, and the money we have saved on ink is astonishing. I used to have a Canon, like, what are the old ones called? Regular, old style printer. What, they, what were they called? Uh, inkjet. There we go. God, it's old age, I tell you, my brain doesn't work. Um, but yeah, eventually I, I went for this. Uh, it wasn't even that expensive. Couldn't tell you offhand. Um, and yeah, we've saved the money I spent on that laser printer probably five or ten times over in the space of time I've had it. I've only replaced the toner cartridge in that twice in a couple of years. It's amazing. Okay, back from dropping off the parcel and at the parcel drop-off shop, they had another load of cardboard. Different place from where I got the other stuff earlier, um, but that shop, they're great in there. Uh, if I need it, I can take whatever cardboard I need and they had a load of really nice small to medium boxes. So I grabbed the lot. I've just noticed I've been home a while and that's our car, the Mini, and I didn't shut the boot. It's been sat there like that for, I don't know, a good 20 minutes. I'm losing my mind, slowly but surely. Let's do a panoramic. Okay, I'm starting to feel sick. This space I'm in now hasn't always looked like this. Um, and I will link a video here that shows what this space used to be and how we converted it to what it is today. So if you haven't seen that video, it's really quite an interesting video. Take a look and let me know what you thought. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.